Um, favorite part about camp is just like coming to camp and seeing all of these kids have the best time of their life. I mean, as you can ask the kids every time the kids come here, they'll say it every day that this is what they look forward to all year long. And we even had a kid say that, you know, if he could choose to be here all the time and never go back, he would definitely do it. So the kids definitely love being here and definitely look forward to it all the time. I can't even put it into words. It's so rewarding just to see the smiles on their faces and see that they're having such a great time. Um, I remember when my mom told me about it, I was about seven and I was having so much trouble with people just teasing me just because that I'm in a wheelchair. This is their one week where they get to have so much fun and they get to feel like they're a part of something bigger and that there are people that really care about them. So I think it's really important to help out. I want to say thank you because that helps a lot and gives us all kinds of new cool stuff. I'd be nothing without camp. It's like a home to me. And my mom told me that, oh, there's actually a place that you could go this summer called MDA camp with kids should like only just like you. And I said, really? Why didn't you tell me that earlier? Mm -hmm. And so I tried it out and I'm like, oh my God, this is awesome. for sending us to MDA. I was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, or uh, ALS. Um, I was having, I, I was working at the time for the Wilsonboro Fire Department and I was having problems getting onto the truck, climbing up and down steps. My legs were, felt like they were constantly uh, cramping. At the clinic we have um, the doctor, which is Dr. Patterson. She oversees our clinic and she is, to me, one of the best neurologists. Um, around. When we actually first found out, my husband and I, uh, immediately we went home and went on the computer and it was kind of heartbreaking, I mean, to find out that there wasn't a cure for it, to see some of the different things that were going to happen to him and just devastation. I mean, you live for your children and you find out that there's something wrong with them that can't be fixed and it's difficult as any parent could possibly imagine. I think that my greatest challenge with living with spinal muscular atrophy is getting weaker because you'll be able to do something one day and the next day you go to do it again and it's harder and things just keep getting harder because your disease keeps getting worse. Yeah, school's a problem. It was very inaccessible. You, you can't, to get to the cafeteria, I had to go outside and around the building in order to get to the cafeteria to eat lunch. When I would eat lunch, I would sit in the back, could barely go to get my lunch because I couldn't fit, could barely fit to where the meals were. When I was younger and a lot lighter than I am now, I used to be able to walk around the house in a walker. I play piano. I do all sorts of music, things like singing and drums and all that. Uh, I play video games, hang with my friends, all the stuff a normal kid would do. It's so wonderful that there is a camp out there that can help these children because now they're in with other kids who have things like they do. And so I support the camp. Um, totally, but I even su support a cure even more because if we can find a cure, the kids don't have to have a camp. Without the contributions, there's, there's no, uh, no research and it's, it's the research that's going to figure out what the problem is and eventually, uh, I guess like Jerry Lewis says, uh, you know, there won't have to be any more fundraisers.
So hopefully people will just continue to contribute. We took our family down and my brother really didn't understand all of it. When we got back from the MDA Ride for Life, he just hugged me and he cried with me. He didn't realize where this is going to go. We don't know where it's going to go. We just hope the cure is found by these people for the Ride for Lives and all of the things that they do. From the Harris family, we'd like to say thank you for raising money.